Good morning and welcome to PLZ Soccer. This is your Scottish News Bulletin. Alex McLeish is set to be sacked as Scotland manager by the end of today after just 13 months and 12 games in charge. McLeish will hold talks with SFA Chief Executive Ian Maxwell later on Thursday following the two poor performances in their opening Euro 2020 qualifying fixtures. McLeish and his players were booed off by around 3,000 Scotland fans following their 2-0 win over San Marino on Sunday, having been embarrassed by Kazakhstan 3-0 in the previous match, one of the worst results in the country's history. We'll be bringing you more from that story throughout the day, so make sure you stay with us. Celtic forward Lee Griffiths will return to training this week after being out of football since the start of December to help with mental health issues. Griffiths will start fitness and performance work at Celtic's Lennox Town training ground, aiming to return to full training in the near future, although Celtic manager Neil Lennon said there is no timescale for his return to the pitch. St Johnston beat St Mirren by a single goal in Perth last night in what felt like a decisive game in the Premiership. St Mirren's Simeon Jackson missed a horrendous attempt of a Penenka penalty when the score was 0-0, with the result leaving the Buddies languishing in last place, whereas St Johnston moved up two places to seventh in the table. And a man who threw a bottle into a crowd of Aberdeen fans at Todry during a game with Rangers last year has been handed a football ban for 18 months and 135 hours of unpaid work. Let's see what the back pages are saying. Unsurprisingly, most of them lead with McLeish. The record picture McLeish with the caption, Eck, the end. The Sun have former Scotland manager who could take over from him, Gordon Strachan, claiming Scottish football is deluded. And the Daily Mail's headline is just McLeish axed. Thank you for tuning in this morning. Remember, we have our PLZ Soccer app, which lets you keep up to date with all the latest football news, such as the McLeish story, and from all over the world as well. It lets you contribute your own thoughts, opinions, and questions you may have to our panel. So download now from the App Store.